social media plays a big role in our everyday lives, but it can also save your life. Here's how. Did you know that 95% of Americans own a cell phone? That means you've probably got an alert about severe weather. There's a tornado warning for your area. But social media use has grown in recent years. It's where a lot of people go for information, and it's also a big step forward from how we used to get weather alerts. Back in the, uh, in the, in the old days, uh, there were a re relatively limited number of ways to get uh, severe weather information. Fox 13 sat down with Gary Woodall, the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service here in Memphis. He recommends three methods for receiving alerts. One is hopefully a NOAA weather radio because with the alarm feature that will wake you up or alert you. Um, of course, our partners at the commercial media are a great way to uh, get weather information. Uh, smartphone apps, uh, the wireless alert uh, notifications that we receive on our smartphones. The average person spends about 116 minutes on social platforms. One of those mediums is Twitter. Woodall and his staff heavily utilize the site to keep the Mid-South informed when threatened by inclement weather. If we get pictures of damage or pictures of a, a storm that's moving into an area, we'll retweet it. So that way we can kind of reemphasize to people that yes, this is a, a hazard, this is a threat that's coming through. That means your photos and tweets help. Uh, so it's helpful for us. It helps with our verification and re, uh, reinforces to us that yes, the signatures that we're seeing on radar are actually taking place. But don't don't put yourself in harm's way for prestige. It's safer to take shelter during the storm, and safety should always be a priority during hazardous weather. Our primary goal when using social media is to help accomplish our mission of protecting life and property here in the Mid-South. 